In this video, I want to talk to you about countersinking screws, and we're going to do it right now. So let's start out with what countersinking is. When you go to put a screw in something uh, and it looks like this, that is not countersunk. That is. Basically, it's taking out a little piece of the material so your screw head can sink into the wood and then you can fill it with um, wood filler. So this can cause all kinds of problems. First of all, it doesn't look that great. You, you won't be able to fill it and sand it out and make it look nice. Um, and you could, you know, potentially catch on it or it depends on the application that you're using. But in this video, I'm gonna show you how to countersink like that. And the best way to do it, we'll start off with the best way and then I'll show you some alternatives, but these are countersink bits. They have a pilot bit built into them and then a countersink bit. And that is the thing that makes the hole for the head of the screw. It has a little uh, set screw right there that you can use to adjust the length of the pilot bit. Uh, if you have a longer screw like this or a shorter screw, you can adjust that. Um, so when you're doing this, you want to pick the right size countersink bit for your screw. And this is, has three different sizes. You can see there's a, there's a big one here and kind of medium size and a small. And for a typical screw, this medium size one will work just fine. So this is how you adjust these. You take, uh, little Allen bit that comes with the set and then you can loosen this and now this can adjust in and out. Um, I'm going to set this one. So that's a pretty good length. You don't have to go all the way and you want to make sure the pilot bit is just a little bit smaller than the screw itself. You don't want it to be any bigger than the actual screw because then the screw wouldn't catch on anything. So you want to tighten that up nice and tight. Then you can put it in your drill. And then you can kind of So as you're doing this, you want to just check, see if your screw head is going to fit in there. Okay, and you also want to go a little bit deeper so that you'll have a gap between the screw head and the wood so that you can put your nail filler in and it won't just pop out. So, something like that. Now you have a nice countersunk screw. I may have even gone a little too deep, but that's okay. Plenty of space to use filler and to, to fill that, sand it, make it nice. So another thing to note is different types of wood. Uh, this is just pine and it's a really soft wood. So I could take any kind of screw. This is just a, a drywall screw and just sink it right in. And it doesn't have to be anything fancy. Uh, you're more than likely using this for framing but you could fill it, make it look nice. Uh, so pine, you can easily go through, but uh, oak hardwood is a little different. You might have some issues with putting a screw into this and it's sucking down. And another thing that you might have an issue with is let's say it's on the end here and you go to put a screw in. That's gonna happen. So, you need a pilot uh, hole for that because this screw is just gonna take that wood and separate it. So if you took your countersink bit and put it right at the edge here where it's probably gonna split just like that, but if you pre-drilled it and countersank it, uh, let's, let's see if we'll split it.
So let's say you don't have a countersink bit. Well, there is an alternative and it's drill bits. It's not as quick and easy, but it gets the job done and I'll show you how to do it. So you put your bit in that is just like we said, a little shy of the size of the screw. And just as a little tip, you can take a piece of painter's tape and hold the screw and put the tape at the depth that you want the pilot bit to go. And that way you'll have an indicator of where to stop the pilot bit. Drill your pilot hole. I know to stop right there. Then you take another large bit that is just a little bit bigger than the head of the screw that you're using. And do the same thing you would do with a countersink bit. And that's the only downside is you can see how it tore up the wood a little bit. But again, this is pine if you want a little slower. And if it was a harder wood, you might not do that like with hardwood. You can see that made a nice cut and then you can take your screw in the pilot hole screw it in all good and there is yet one more alternative and it's called construction screws this is a construction screw and it does a pretty good job of countersinking itself because it has a self-drilling point to it here that carves out the wood and makes room for the screw and then towards the bottom side of the head of the screw it has these little raised pieces of metal that actually cut through the wood and make room for the head of the screw so with these you can take them and like I said, they do a pretty good job and you can screw them right in and they usually countersink themselves and I'll show you that right now. And again, it's a little bit messier, uh, but it definitely gets the job done, especially if you're gonna fill it anyways and make it look nice. So that's it, just some quick little tips on countersinking and pre-drilling. I uh, hope it helped you out. If you want to see more content like this, you can click here and here-ish and check those videos out. And definitely subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a like if you liked it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.